Welcome to Action News, everybody. Today I have the headlines with Hannah. Do it. First up, I feel like a donkey wins the Grand National. No, I don't care about that. I want to go to Chloe, because she has some news on Trafalgar Square with two philosophers hitting it up. Let's go to Chloe now. Thank you, news team. I'm here, live in Trafalgar Square, while the utilitarians are kicking off again in mid-riot. Behind me, chaos. I'm here with the late Mr. Jeremy Benson. I'm the bloody well father of utilitarianism, you best remember that. What does you actually utilitarianism stand for? We aim to maximise pleasure and minimise pain. That is lovely. Well, my theory is theological, situationist, consequentialist and relative. I invented the hedonic calculus. Furthermore, my theory is very flexible. It aims for the greatest good and pleasure for the greatest number. Everyone counts for one. Rich are the same as poor. It reduces pain first, increasing pleasure, and we can ensure the greater good. But I'm sure there must be some weaknesses. Uh, well, 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 actually... Stuart Mill! It's not quite right. Here's another interviewee. Stuart Mill. John Stuart Mill, actually. Well, my father was a great follower of Bentham, but there was quite a few holes in his little theory. Firstly, I think it should be happiness, not pleasure. That is our main concern. Bentham's theory of utilitarianism is too animalistic. I always say, better be Socrates dissatisfied than a pig satisfied. Bentham doesn't di distinguish between pleasure. And the hedonic calculus is too impractical and difficult to use. It relies too much on predictions, and decisions don't consider minorities. It ignores all our rights. So, tell us about your ideas of raw utilitarianism. Ah, yes. One of my best ideas, I would say. <laughs> I consider different pleasures have different qualities. For example, poetry, much higher quality pleasure than pushpin. In raw utilitarianism, um, I, you can create general rules to apply to every situation to save time. There's no, no more of this applying the hedonic character of situation, wasting our time, trying to predict consequences that is impossible to do. My theory is deontological, relative and consequentialist. It creates rules for everyone to follow, no exceptions, and the general rule stops the fiddly hedonic <laughs> calculus having to apply it every time. Thank you, John Stuart Mill. You're a bloody thief, and you're an aristocratic family of swine, and I'm nothing to you, you've sold our name of utilitarianism with your Latin and Greek. Who speaks Greek in this age? Good day to the lot of you. <laughs> I found this young straggler. Have you got any opinions? Uh, well, I'm a follower of a strong rule, because no one can ever get away with anything. All the rules are there, and they're not allowed to be broken at all. And what about this week? Oh, it just contradicts it? itself. It's basically the same as that. See ya! We've got one last speaker. Yes, thank you. I saw a decision making that would make, take account of views of minorities, like Mill. I was concerned, like Mill, about minority rights. Our preferences cannot count any more than the preferences of others. It's the best interest of the greatest number. That means all sentient beings Animals included fall within our moral obligation to consider their rights. Animals? Would you say a dirty, sweaty pig is as worth much as me? You are a pig. Well, thank you guys for that. It's been a very interesting evening tonight, so I'll take you back to the newsroom. Good night. Thanks for that very interesting report, Chloe. It's very good to hear about all the action at Trafalgar Square. Well, that's it, folks. We've done our news today. Just so you know, stay safe and stay cool. Thank you and good night. Welcome to Action News. Everybody in the world. I, I don't know who it is, but everyone in the world. Welcome, welcome to the Welcome Wag. I was.
Thank <laughs> you.